Hi there, this is Solid Children from Solid Children Films and welcome to another video. Today's video is just to um, say that FOP and HMV are doing a um, 10 year Arrow video sale um, where it's buy one get one free um, even though it's not really buy one get one free it's essentially £7.50 for an Arrow title what makes this sale um, a little bit different and one you should maybe check out is the fact that new releases or relatively new releases are actually included unlike on Arrow's um, website if they do a sale generally new titles aren't included so titles that only came out in May and April are actually included in this FOP HMV sale so things like Andromeda Strain and The Grand Duel and Colobos um, and Yakuza Law, things like that, who have only actually been released the last couple of months, they are now in the deal for essentially £7.50. Um, it's interesting that Arrow haven't done a 10 year sale yet, I'm guessing they're maybe going to do one um, so keep an eye out for that um, on the website so I just went into FOP and picked up 10 titles so I'll just quickly go through them and you can leave any comments um, down below to see why on earth are you buying that. Um, so the first one is Hideo Nakata's Dark Water. Um, I've been wanting to pick this up for a little while. Um, after he did The Ring, he did Dark Water, which was also remade um, with Jennifer Connelly. I haven't actually seen this, um, but so let me know in the comments below if you have seen it and what you think of it. Um, this has a new interview with Nakata and with an author and an interview with a cinematographer and archive interviews with the actresses and original making of documentary and this one is the Blu-ray DVD with reversible art and it doesn't come with a booklet it maybe came with a booklet in first pressing. Um, the next one is 52 Pickup, John Frankenheimer with Roy Scheider and Anne Margaret. Um, this one has a commentary with a couple of critics and hardcore cameos, a guide to the many cameo appearances by pornographic actors in 52 Pickup. And this is the Blu ray. DVD combo and it has the booklet and obviously reversible art. The next one is Trapped Alive. Again, I think this is one of the more recent releases. So you're essentially getting it for £7.50. Um, this is a late 80s slasher with a ton of extras, which may be better than the film. Um, it's got a new commentary by the writer director, brand new commentary by makeup effects, and, and another commentary with the hysteria continues. Don't know whether that's a podcast or what. And um, there's a brand new making of. There's a brand new interview with makeup, um, and there's a television documentary from 1988, and there's also an interview about the director's early years. So there's a ton of extras and there's also a booklet and the next one is the aforementioned Collar Boss I'd never heard of it but I was intrigued to check it out it's 
supposed to be a proto saw, but let's hope it's a little bit better than that. Well, to be fair, the original saw was an interesting little film, just not the 85 sequels. Um, this one has a commentary with the directors, a making of, a brand new making of. This is from 1999. Um, brand new interview with the actor, brand new interview with the com music composer, and there's also Super Helden, which was a 10 minute um, Super 8 short by the same director. And there's a short feature on the 2018 premiere of Restored Colobos. The next one is Joe Dante's Matinee. It's amazing because Joe Dante doesn't really get a lot of credit for being a good filmmaker or as much credit as he actually should. But you kind of go through your collection and realise I've actually got eight Joe Dante films, but you don't actually realise you've got eight Joe Dante films. Um, so again, this is Blu-ray DVD combo. It's reversible art. Um, it has new interviews with Joe Dante and select cast and crew. A discussion with Joe Dante about the making. The full-length version of Mant, which is the film that's featured in the film. Um, an introduction to Mant by Joe Dante. Vintage making of featurettes. Um, rare on-set footage um, from Joe Dante's personal collection. Deleted and extended scenes from Joe Dante's work print. Yeah, this is Joe Dante's love letter to 50s science fiction and monster movies. So the next two are actually by Teru Ishii, who also has Or Orgies of Edo and Blind Women's Curse in the Arrow collection. I have Blind Women's Curse, I haven't picked up Orgy of Edo's or Orgies of Edo's. Orgies of Edo yet that was on the offer as well. So if you want Orgies of Edo, go to your nearest fop. So this is the horrors of malformed men, which from the synopsis is a bit like a Japanese version of the island of Dr. Moreau, I'm guessing. And again, a booklet and reversible art. You know, I kind of like the reverse artwork on that one. I may change that one later. So what does this one have? This has two audio commentaries by Japanese cinema experts. Um, Malformed Movies, a new interview with Toei Exploitation movie screenwriter. Malformed Memories, filmmakers Shinya Sakamoto, who did the Tetsu trilogy. And Minora Kawasaki, who did the Calamari Wrestler and one of my favourites, Executive Koala. You need to somehow see the Executive Koala, it's wonderful. Um, on the career of director Tiru Ishii. Um, Ishii in Italia, where Ishii and one of the Japanese cinema experts visit the Far East Film Festival. Um, an image gallery, theatrical trailer. And the second by Ishii is Yakuza Law. Again, this is a relatively new release. And again, you're getting it for £7.50. What choice do you have? Um, this one has a new commentary by author and critic. Erotic, grotesque and genre hopping. Tiero Ishii Speaks. It's a rare vintage interview with the director on his career. Again, this has a booklet, and it's just the Blu-ray for this one. The next one is The Grand Jewel. Again, this is a relatively new release, but it's part of the deal. Again, you get a booklet, and it's just the Blu-ray. And this is Lee Van Cleef, at, amongst his best. It's maybe let down by um, his co-star, Alberto Dentis. He's not that great. Um, 
But this has a ton of extras. There's a new audio commentary by Stephen Prince, who's always very good. Um, there's a newly filmed interview with the director, Giancarlo Santi. A newly filmed interview with the screenwriter. An interview with Alberto Dentis. Um, a newly filmed interview with the producer. A newly filmed um, interview with the assistant director. Um, a newly filmed video appreciation by an academic. A comparison between the original cut and the longer German cut of the Grand Jewel. Game Over, an obscure science fiction short from 1984. Um, directed by Bernard Vello and starring the Grand Jewel, Mark Mazza. Not sure why that's on it. Uh, Mark Mazza, who was the rider on the rain, a video essay about the elusive actor Mark Mazza by tough tough guy film expert Mike Malloy. You can really be a niche expert, you can be a tough guy film expert. Um, original Italian and international theatrical trailers, um, image gallery, yeah, a ton of stuff on the Grand Jewel. If you like Lee Van Cleef, you got to get the Grand Jewel. I did have it on a twin Blu-ray with Kioma, um, which again is available on, I think, only in the US on Arrow at the moment on Blu-ray. The next one is Evil Ed, um, which just looks like a, a late homage to Reanimator and such. Um, this is the three disc edition. Um, which has two different versions of the film. It has an introduction, a making of, um, new featurettes, and there's also Lost in Brainland, which has never before seen extended three hour making of documentary, which should be um, interesting. Again, it might be one of those ones that the extras might be better than the actual film, but I'll let you know if it's suitable enough for a random review. But sometimes making ofs are more interesting than the actual film. Or, in the case of The Thing, Terror Takes Shape, the making of is just one of the greatest making ofs of, of all time. Oh, I've got a feeling I'll have to do a top 10 making of documentaries. And the last title I picked up was Terry Gilliam's Tideland. Kind of forgotten about and ignored in Gilliam's back catalogue for being a little bit too depressing, but there's a nice artwork of a squirrel shark. Or a shark squirrel, whichever you prefer. Um, this one has a commentary by Terry Gilliam. Um, Terry Gilliam's commentaries are always worthwhile. An introduction by Terry Gilliam, um, a 45 minute documentary on the making of Thailand, um, the making of Thailand featurette, filming green screen featurette with commentary by Gilliam, interviews with Gilliam, producer Jeremy Thomas and actors Jeff Bridges, Judell Ferland and Jennifer Tilly, deleted scenes with commentary by Gilliam, B-roll footage, gallery, theatrical trailer. That's Thailand. From 2005. So, thanks very much for watching that quick little Arrow sale update. Please let me know what Arrow titles you'll be picking up in the sale if you're going to partake in the sale. Again, it's not really buy one, get one free, it's essentially Arrow titles for 750 But again, for the new titles it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, again, at some point this year you would have thought Arrow would do a 10 year sale on their website unless they're maybe waiting for you know around Black Friday to do it, but who knows. But while the offer lasts, if you've got any holes in your Arrow collection um, or want to add to your Arrow collection, it's a good excuse to do it. So thanks very much for watching, this is Salty Ronan saying Farewell.